When I was in Gombe, particularly, I felt very, very close to a great spiritual power. I felt this, this spiritual power in every living thing. We call it our soul. Well, if we have a soul, then that spark of energy is in chimpanzees. They have souls, even though most people wouldn't talk about it that way. And the trees, they have a soul too. They've got a spark of that divine energy. It was in Gombe that I began to really think about the spiritual nature of, of life on this planet. The most important part of being in the rainforest is the understanding of the interconnection, how every little species has a role to play. And I like to think of this tapestry of life in the forest. I think, okay, this little species disappears a thread is removed from the tapestry, and then this species goes and another thread is removed. And if too many species go from this ecosystem, the whole ecosystem may collapse because the tapestry is in tatters. It's very important that young people learn that you can't just care for the environment. Uh, you need to care for people too, because you can't separate them. As I speak now, in different parts of the world, there are young people. They've rolled up their sleeves and they're out there clearing litter, planting trees, raising money for good causes, volunteering in shelters, volunteering in soup kitchens, changing the attitude of their parents. So Roots and Shoots is hope. Hundreds and thousands, millions of young people, the Roots and the Shoots, can break through and make a better world. I was a very shy child. All I wanted to do was go and live in the jungle and write books about animals. I didn't want anything else. I didn't even want to be a scientist. And then I had to give talks and things like that. But you know, especially now I'm here where I grew up with the family. I mean, I'm still the same Jane I was, and I don't understand what's happened. Why do people listen? Why do thousands of people come to lectures? I don't know. I'm not sure how my feeling of spirituality has guided my work, but it's really more a feeling of, this is what I'm meant to be doing. This is what I'm here for. Uh, my life has a meaning.